It's a hot night in August and I'm just about to finish up another project when all of a sudden I get a call from a customer who's desperate to get the TM from a job that I did last June. Well, I need to do a TM export. There's two places I can do that in MemoQ. From anywhere in MemoQ, I can go to the Tools menu, to the Resource Console, and there I have a list of all of my TMs. I can select the TM from there and export what I want. The other place that I can do this is within a project, going to the translation memories list, and I have quite a few translation memories. So I'm going to filter. I remember that the translation memory that contains the information I'm looking for has my initials as part of its name, so I'll type those in. Ah, see, every translation memory that contains my initials suddenly gets displayed. This name and description field in the translation memories window or in the corresponding dialog for the resource console is a fast way to filter and find exactly the translation memory that you want to work with. And in fact, this is the one that I want. To export that to a TMX file, I simply go down and click Export to TMX, name it whatever I want, and click Save. And there's the file that I can send to my customer. But wait, uh-oh. That contains all of the segments for all of the jobs in that TM. I only wanted to send the work that I did on that particular day. So I'm going to have to filter the translation memory so that I have only the segments that I want to send to the customer. I can do that by clicking Edit. And here in this dialog, I can filter the translation memory contents that are displayed according to a number of criteria. I can filter by client, by subject, project, domain, or I can also filter by date. Now a lot of the time I'm lazy and I don't put in the client and the subject information or domain information or whatever, but I do remember that this particular project was done on June 4th. So I'm going to put in appropriate dates for filtering. Click OK and this will display just the segments done in that period of time. Then when I click Export, a dialog appears warning me that only the segments which are displayed here are going to be exported. In fact, that's what I want. And I will name that TMX file, click Save, and I'm done.